we made a promise that day on September 11th that we would not forget. It's important. And for six years, David Schoner has kept that promise. He's the man responsible for the Cedar Grove waves, a symbolic display of 2,977 flags sprawled on one side of Cedar Grove High School, each flag attached to the name of someone who died on 9-11. The biggest thing is about the flags is making sure that we personalize it. And also we want the kids to get a little bit more attached to it. And by just seeing something, you get it. But when you start learning about a particular person that was killed that day or family members come up all the time and the kids are outside, they start talking to them. And that way you get a little bit more attached to what it is. All 500 students here at Cedar Grove were born post 9-11, but the magnitude of the day is not lost on them. They're supposed to be learning from home, but here they are working hard on their installation. It's like kind of like like real to see all these names and see all these flags and like it just makes it more like like you just get kind of more shocked and like you realize like like what actually happened since like we weren't really born yet. I think it really does make it more personal. Um, it's really astonishing to like see how many people lost their lives on that day. So it's really important that we continue like to do this and honor them. Thanks in part to this display and the assembly the school has on the day of 9-11. On September 11th, they have kind of like a speech where everyone talks about like the actual day and like the events that actually occurred by like the minutes and people in the community come in like around the whole and surround the whole parking lot and just come to like see it and like just remember the people. When they go through the timeline, they go through every single thing that happened. So it's like when you're listening to it, you just like you hear, OK, the first uh, tower went down and then the second one and you just like feel everything. The installation will be around until September 23rd and people from all over are encouraged to visit and share a memory. In Cedar Grove, Emily Young, New Jersey News Network.